featherweight contest over six rounds and it's between Prince Amakwe and Eric Tete. Officials for this bout, Judge 1, we have Ishmael Williams, Judge 2, Bright Obain, and Judge 3, Clement Ashon. And the man in charge of this fight is David Mills. David Mills is the referee, and the judges are Ishmael Williams, Bright Obain, and Clement Ashon. Now, let's welcome the boxer, Eric Tete. You know, say money no be problem. Honey's on the block. Alright, I'm back again. You know what time it is. Straight up. Alright, what's up? Listen. I bank him another game, I miss him. I see how she been on the throw, so we ain't now. I come up and I take care of me, yeah, I'm in Buna. I'm going to send my reason, I do what you do, you man. Oh, pie boy, what did I do, you man? What did I do, you man? What did I do, you man? I'm going to get my dear, 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 i am going to get my dear i am going to get my dear i am going to get my Bianca, it's what I don't have a bra. If you get you money, be too fair. It's your two, give ya bar. I just want to get you to Puma. No, that is what I shall be. I have to still have a bit. I bet you just get me. I'm not going to be a bad one. 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 Okay. Now, viewers, wherever you are, you're still live on Max Television. We are at the Bukom Boxing Arena. This is the Lugzi Professional Boxing League, night number three. And this is the third bout of the evening. Now, it is going to be a featherweight contest of our six rounds. Officials for this bout, we have Ishmael Williams. We have not obeyed Clement Ashon as the three judges. Now, introducing the boxer fighting out from the blue corner and this evening is for in the black and white trunks with black and white gloves and the black and white shoe to match and this is the man with a weight of 129 pounds from the palm spring boxing gymnasium under the tutelage of the man who has done a lot of boxing in this ghana mr brain and this is the boxer with a record of two fight two wins no defeat no draw presenting to you the boxer Harry Tate! Switching over to the red corner. This is another interesting boxer. And tonight, spotted in the black and white trunks, black and white shoe, and black and white gloves. This is the man with the weight of 126.7 pounds. And this is the man with the official record of one fight, one win, he has never tasted a defeat. Presenting to you the boxer under the tutelage of Black Rush from the Black Panthers boxing gym here in the crowd. Presenting to you the boxer, Prince Amakwe. And the referee in charge is David Mills. 
Here we go with the third bout of the evening. It's a featherweight contest and it's scheduled for six rounds. So Black Panthers are being represented by Prince Amakwe. And Palm Springs have Eric Tete as their representative. Let's see what happens in six rounds. The referee for this bout round is David Mills. One. So here we go with round one. Both boxers are sporting black trunks and uh, white. But of course, Prince and Marquis, uh trunks, the more fanciful. Don't forget, it's a first of featherweight contests we have for you tonight. Eric Tetek uh, tipped the scales at a weight of 129 pounds. Heavier than Prince Amakwe, who came into the ring at 126.7 pounds. Featherweight is the division where Ghana made a lot of name by the kind of kindest of courtesies of uh, Professor Berima Zuma Zoom Zoom Nelson. Conquered the featherweight and conquered the super featherweight at the world stage. Black Flash, as Prince Amakwe is known. He's not lost a bout, not just yet, in his uh, professional career. He's looking sharp, but keeping his guard down, allowing Eric Tete to land a few jabs. One to the face of uh, Tete, another one through the guard. We didn't see a lot of accuracy in terms of punches in the last bout. And uh, viewers, by way of uh, information, and I'm sure Prof. Judah Champong will uh, furnish us with more, but the fight we saw before this one, that was the fight involving Ofe Dodo and Neri Kwam, has been declared a no contest. So the technical committee of the Ghana Boxing Authority, ably led by Shadrach Akwe, will be coming out with... Uh, modalities for that bout but this is a mark way on top of his game eric has been at the receiving end for a while he tries to explode and mark way seems to uh, have this fight clearly under his domain and control prince a mark way that is eric oops eric was nearly thrown out of the ring Thankfully, he's still on his feet. And into the corner, Prince Samakwe. Eric Tete fights back. One to the head of uh, Eric Tete. Prince looking uh, quite fast and sharp. And that's the end of the first round. <laughs> this bout promises to be keenly contested. Yeah, excellent round well, for Prince Abakwe. Looking very sharp. I mean, his stamina is, is, is moving very well. A very good counter puncher as well. And then every time going in with a jab, trying to use the jab to get the opening that he wants. He has been very, very much good for him. And um, for Eric Tete, I mean, still throwing some wild punches here. He's not having any. That is why Prince has been absolutely brilliant in the first round. I mean, just look at his timing. Just look at, you know, his shot accuracy level on top. A very good one for Prince Marco. So, a lot more of the punches has landed more there, yeah, straight punch into the face of Eric Kete. Should be a very good round for Prince Abate. Take it out! Well, after the display by uh, Adani Best, round have settled two. in. And here we go with round two of this bout. It's scheduled for six. Featherweight contest. Thanks to boxing connoisseurs. Oops! Eric Tate is in trouble. 
nearly went down in that regard and Prince Amakwe has been let loose follows Eric closely to the other corner he believes the fight can end by the short distance Eric Tete has to wake up he came into the uh, ring the heavier of the two boxers Eric Tete it looks like the punches of uh, Prince Amakwe have been deadly and already I want to believe that uh, there's a cut somewhere along the line Eric Tete seems to be uh, bleeding through the nose obviously rocked by that uh, bullet of a punch Namakwe looking for that opening once again guard of uh, Tete is down making him an easy target doesn't move around too confidently Eric Tete Prince penetrates one guard is up by Amakwe and then lands two punches to the head and another one gets through once again and Eric Tete easy target for Prince Amakwe especially in this round Connoisseurs who are here tonight enjoying the bout. Prince Amakwe being very, very careful with the punches. Mr. Maxwell Techi, Mr. Safer Techi, all are loving the excitement here. And don't forget, we need to remind you that the best boxer out of the seasons, the Luxy Professional Boxing League, walks home with the brand new vehicle. The best gym will also be given a Renault Quit brand new vehicle. So two Renault Quits, Premium Motors, we say thank you very much. Last 10 seconds of the round. Closely watching. That ends the round. Eric Tete is still lucky to be on his feet. Yeah, another big take performance from Prince Amakwe. I mean, he's not rushing the punches, he's going with the jabs, trying to get the openings. And any time you see um, Eric Tete trying to throw another one punch or power punch, he misses. And then you see the counter punch from Prince Amakwe. He has been excellent in terms of the counter punches. He is not having the most deadliest punches or the heaviest of the punches, but he is very good in terms of the accuracy level. Yeah, look at that punch. Straight left hook into the face. And yeah, you see Eric Tete wobbling. He has been a very dominant performance from Prince Amakwe. I mean, I love the boxing that Shane has actually. You love the skill. Seconds out, round three. On to the third round we go. Clearly, Eric Tete is in some form of uh, trouble. And we saw the bleeding from his nose before the end of the last round. Prince Amakwe wants to continue with the punishment. Good shot to the body. Amakwe comes close again. And again, Tete is keeping his, uh, his guard down. Easy target for Prince Amakwe. Tries to go through the guard of uh, Eric. This time it didn't work. Still on his feet though, although that wobbled him. How much punishment is Eric Tete going to take? So 
Arteta tries to uh, open up. Works on the body. Still on his feet now. And Prince Amakwe is in a haste to finish up the bout. He's missing most of his punches. Tete still stands tall. And now he goes down. One, two. He says he can continue. He's still bleeding though from the nose. Not too sure we saw the doctors at ringside take a look at the nose during the uh, end of the last round. But anyway, Eric Tete still stands on his feet. Prince Amakwe taking most of the punches that Eric has to offer. And then he penetrates through the guard. Follows up with a couple of body shots. To the head once again. Eric Tete still receiving punishment from Prince Amakwe. He works on his body, goes to the head. And quickly, Eric tries to uh, throw in a lifesaver. Well, he can afford a little bit of showboating, but definitely he is in trouble. Prince goes through the guard once, goes through the guard again. Eric Tete still receiving the punishment. He misses a wild right. Prince Amakwe of the Black Panthers gym looking very confident. Working on the body. Last 10 seconds. But we must give credit to Eric Tete. He's taking a lot but still on his feet. I mean, this match should be over if Prince Amakwe probably has a, you know, a heavier punch. He's sometimes in a hurry to finish out the bout, to end this, this bout, but he's missing woefully. He needs to be more composed. Anytime he lands the uppercut or probably on the counter, the way he gets inside of um, Eric Tete here. See those um, uppercuts here. Yeah. They're straight punching to the face. Yeah, he needs to take his time. He's in a rush to finish out the bar, but yeah, he's missing those powerful shots. If he can take his, his time and measure up those punches, there he can finish the bar. But this one straight into the midsection again. And Eric was in trouble. But he has been a dominant performance without a doubt from Prince Amakwe. Showing his class and showing how good he is. Yeah. You see those um, punches very well straight into the back of Eric Tete. Second out. Round four. Eric Tete still stands tall as we enter the fourth round of this bout. It's a featherweight contest and it's scheduled for six rounds. Prince Amakwe has been in a haste to finish up the contest and he's thrown a lot of wild punches. But he's doing well with the uh, jabs, Prince Amakwe. He tries to work on the body as he penetrates through the guard. give and take affair at this stage and Eric Tete would want to claw back some pride he's uh, gone to the canvas he's visited the canvas once but he's not giving up not just yet now Prince Amakwe tries to work through the guard this time around Tete does well with his guard keeps it up gets a couple of punches to the body and to the head of uh, Prince Amakwe Well, unlike in the first rounds that we saw Prince Amakwe opening up and exploding, he seems to be taking his time in this round. Pretty sure looking for that big opening.
fans getting behind the two boxers as usual, urging them on to give up their best. So again, Prince, Amakwe, usual day at the office for him, keeping the jabs flowing, whilst looking for that opportunity. Eric Tete, little opposition he's giving, Amakwe misses. Looking for that opening again as uh, Eric Tete lands an uppercut, one to the uh, head of uh, Amakwe tries to swing his way through warning from David Mills the center referee into the last 10 seconds of this round it's been quite a better output in terms of performance from Eric Tretton yeah, very stubborn boxer, Eric Tete. He's taking most of the punches, most of the heavy punches to the body, to the face. He's still standing. The more you hit him, the more he's coming at you. And one thing I've not been probably um, pretty much excited about is, is the, the way a man, you see Prince Amakwe getting closer into um, the mid-session of Eric Tete. He needs to give him that space. He needs to measure out those punches and go in with a jab to get the opening. He's not doing that like he did in the first round. This is where you need to be much more careful. Get the jab and get the opening, and then you can throw the straight right hand. But he's not doing that. You know, Eric Tet, a very stubborn boxer, he's always coming in with some wild hooks and wild shots. Tet, round five. It's the fifth round now, it's scheduled for six. Eric Tete of the Palm Springs. Boxing Jeep and uh, Prince Amakwe of Black Panther. Prince Amakwe is in the uh, flashy trunks. Stubborn character of uh, Eric Tete, as Jude rightly mentioned, reminds one of the good old days of Simon Peter McIntosh. Very stubborn boxer he was in his heyday. Now Eric has made himself quite an easy target. He needs to move around a lot in the ring. Prince Amakwe, steady performance. It goes in. Ring nearly the ropes, nearly locking up uh, Tete. A little bit of a stutter. And the nose, the nose bleed starts again. Prince Amakwe just keeps the jabs coming through. And then opens up once or twice. Eric Tete still comes forward. Well, can you begrudge the lady? She's got a pretty smile on her face. She's awed by the fact that Eric Tete is at the receiving end, but he's still coming forward. Prince Mark, we're working on him and he goes down. Bam! I think this time Eric Tate has had enough. Let's see whether he can beat the mandatory eight. He's up on his feet. Yes, he says I can continue. And uh, his 